Hi, and welcome to Speed and Science. This is Mark, and my nope. name is Udo. In this episode, we, tell, we kind of call this the Quest for Power, MIT series of the shovel heads. So in episode two, we discussed the velocity heads, uh, and we discussed the fact that the power gains and the increase in, fu in functionality. Yep. We, and, but we came up with another head, which we codenamed MIT. So Mark, can you tell us about this? Um, a lot of customers are saying this. Um, I love my velocity heads, so why bother making another headset? The answer to that is actually very simple. Uh, we want to give you, the customer, a choice. As simple as that. Shovel head engines, or style engines, um, they've been around for over half a century, and since then they've been used for huge number of motorcycles ranging from uh, stripped down naked choppers all the way to uh, full dressers uh, carrying two people in the luggage. Right. Now ideally uh, each and every style of motorcycle uh, will have its engine built and set up and tuned up for that specific task. And until now that's been traditionally done by selecting different camshafts, uh, right. fuel system, gear right. ratio, just to name a few. And that's all good, but now um, we offer two different heads. Right. So that definitely helps. And it also gives us a choice. That is correct. Mark, we have these two heads. So exactly mm -hmm. what is the difference and how would you match these heads to the bike? Well, the velocity heads um, have been designed to produce very nice, very flat torque curve that kicks in uh, very early in, in a low RPM range, which makes it ideal to uh, uh, cruising, highway commuting, that, that type of riding style. So basically, it's a perfect upgrade for stock or almost stock shovel head engine. Um, FL, FX style, doesn't matter. Now, with the MIT heads, uh, we took all that, all the experience and know-how, and we uh, raised it up to entirely new level. Um, after an extensive R&D, we came up with a very, very unique uh, port shape and, and a combustion chamber right. that produces great power, um, and also it moved uh, the power curve towards the, uh, the higher end of RPM. So, I mean, we we made a perfect head for a tire shredding, you know, red to red uh, fanatics. Um, <laughs> and yeah, jokes aside, um, it makes a perfect, perfect head for a, a lighter uh, motorcycle, um, higher raving bike. So Mark, let's say I buy this MIT head. Mm -hmm. Are there any hidden costs or special parts that I'm gonna need to do this conversion? Right now, MIT heads are made only for 3 and 5 eighths bore, so this is something to keep in mind. Um, also, okay. the combustion chamber shape matches the crown of uh, SNS pistons, so that's also a requirement. Other than that, it's basically plug and play, just like most of uh, our products. Mark, the, you know, there's that old saying that uh, horsepower is expensive. What I mean by that is the higher the power, it really shortens the lifespan of the engine. Is this the case here? A high strung engines generally have a little shorter uh, lifespan, but the truth is that an incorrect or lack of maintenance uh, will hurt the engine more than any, any amount of horsepower. Okay. Um, building or blueprinting an engine is one thing, but I, and I can't stress this enough, it's the small, details that really matter. Um, proper setup, uh, ignition timing, uh, fuel mixture, right. um, valve train setup, all the way down to you know using high quality and, and correct viscosity oil along with the uh, cartridge yeah, really uh, style yeah. filter. You know, all those little things add up and, and, and matter in the end. Uh, we always recommend using dyno uh, for final tuning of your engine. Right. Uh, a good, reputable tuner will do the job in absolutely no time and make sure that your engine and your bike will run not only at 
optimum peak efficiency, but will do so uh, for a long time to come. So please do yourself a favor and find a good tuner and try your best to become his or her best friend. Your bike will love you for that. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, hit the subscribe below and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks.